Hello everyone, this is Surajit Basak and welcome to TechSet Blog. Today, I am going to show you how you can export and sync your Sublime packages as well as settings with very good Sublime package called Sync Settings. So to do that, I just need to open my Sublime text editor and I need to press Ctrl then Shift and P and here I'm just going to type package so here you can see install package control so install package control uh, showing me displaying here because I have uh, freshly installed sublime text so I just need to install the package control first so click here and it will install our package control and will show the success message uh, when it's uh, successfully installed the package control so let's wait for it so as you can see my package control has been successfully installed and here you can see use the common palette and type install packages to get started now press ok button now I'm just going to install a sync settings for this um, and now uh, here I'm just going to install install package control click here and it's just going to load repositories as you can see from the status bar now as you can see I have this uh, package control here just need to type SYNC sync settings and click to this package so it is installing package sync settings so as you can see we have this package control message that package uh, sync settings has been installed uh, and you can see uh, you can export and sync your uh, package settings from here as I already used the, uh, this method earlier so I can use my gist id from here so I just need to copy this and go to my project uh, preferences or I can press Control shift p then i am just going to use sync settings and you can see edit user settings sync settings edit user settings click here and just i'm just need to use the json markup here so write this gist id and here i'm just going to paste it here here you can use this I'm just going to uh, close it again press ctrl shift P and then here you can see the download sync settings download so you, you need to press it here so click it and as you can see installing packages and it will take some time uh, so um, please uh, be patient when it's installed all uh, all the uh, packages from here so when it's installed you can see from the preferences so package settings our a file icon auto file name doc blocker package control sublime linter sync setting javascript completion is installing and if I, you can see from here okay so as you can see all my um, uh, all my um, packages has been installed from these settings and you can see also the settings from my the previous one that is autocomplete false color scheme package this one has been installed successfully I think from here so you can see from here that is create an access token at this so just need to copy this link copy link and here I'm just going to here you can see confirm password to continue just going to um, use my password so confirm password and you can a uh, new personal access token you can see so just uh, uh, type sublime auto sync 
or something like that the gist this one create gist this one need to be checked and then generate token so this one so you can copy this code from here copy this and then uh, here you can see put the token in the config file access token property so what you can do is sync settings create and upload so press ctrl shift p sync settings type sync settings and then here you can see create and upload sync settings the property access token must be de defined edit your setting file so as you can see here you can uh, remove it from here you can type then that is access token and you can press it here so, so I'm just going to uh, press ctrl shift P create and upload and you can see enter this description from here so you can type sublime text sync settings YouTube so press enter so you can see sync settings created gist so sync settings your gist was created successfully do you want to override the current gist id property with the created gist you can press yes button from here and you can see gist id has been here so as you can see from here we have did this and if you go to the uh, this profile here from your gist and you can see this one is the previous one and this one the right uh, right here please subscribe and press the bell icon for the upcoming video tutorials and stay updated hope this video tutorial would help you for your web development have a nice day